Hi, Matt with Heat Trailer, and today we're talking about the Titan Chains Snow Socks on a 2024 Jeep Compass. We're going to have this on our tire size 22560 R17. Now, this is going to fit a lot of different other tire sizes. That's just the one we have today. This is going to be a great option for you, mainly because there's not a whole lot of options that are going to fit the Jeep Compass. That's going to be because of the clearance we have behind our tire. I'll show you that in a second, but first, it's also going to be a really good option for you too, because since this is just a sock that sits directly on top of your tire, it's going to provide you a really smooth ride overall. Because if you have any roller links or even just square link chains on your tires, when you drive down the road, that's going to be constantly bouncing and at least giving you some bounce to when you're driving. This won't cause any bouncing at all. It's gonna provide you that smooth ride that you might be looking for. To show you what I mean about the clearance, if we look right here underneath the suspension, we don't have a whole lot of space right there. Maybe a little bit less than two fingers width distance. But another thing you gotta think about, even if you have class, class S chains on here, if they're bouncing around while you're driving and you loosen up some, they could make contact with your suspension, damage your chains, and damage your suspension. That's why a snow sock is going to be perfect for these occasions. And it's going to be constructed from a polyolefin material. So what that's going to do is when you're driving down the road, snow is going to be more likely to stick to this, and you can use that for additional traction. I've heard this has been compared to a lot of other square link chains. The ones that are class S are the smaller ones. And it's gonna provide you just as much traction as those other options we have. And in the center, we're gonna have this elastic band. This elastic band is what's gonna give you that tight fit around your tire. And the fabric's gonna be really durable. It's something that's gonna last you a while. And at the same time, it's also not gonna scratch up your rim either. And on top of that, these are really easy to store and maintain. They come in this more light duty plastic bag. You could use this to store them for a long time, or you could use whatever you have on hand, whether that be a small bag or a tote, or anything that you can really store underneath your seats. It won't take up a whole lot of space. In my opinion, I think this is gonna be a great option for you because like I said earlier, there's not gonna be a lot of chains that are really gonna fit this really nice because of that space or that limited space we have underneath our suspension. So this is gonna be a good way to solve that. And if you are driving through those areas that do get moderate snow and ice, or you're just trying to stay legal in your state. But as far as the installation process goes, I'm a big fan of it. As far as, uh, cause you don't have to make any connections on the front or back or get underneath your vehicle. All it really requires you to do is drive forward or back some. But if you are curious to see what that process looks like, just stay tuned and we'll walk you through it. To start off our installation, we're just going to lift up on our socks. And we're just holding this up, making sure there's no damages to it. And it's really important you try to do this for the first time at home because you don't want to have to try to figure this out on the side of the road in the middle of a blizzard and be stuck out there trying to figure this out. But once this looks pretty good, there's no damages, it looks pretty even on all sides, we can grab it. And I like to stretch mine out just a little bit as I'm placing it on the tire, starting at the very top and working my way down to get it wrapped around. Making sure everything's looking good, even, and we won't be able to get it wrapped completely around quite yet. We just want to get a majority of the work done now. Once we're at a pretty good spot, what we're going to have to do is pull forward some so this tire can rotate and we can get this section that's at the very bottom now that's not wanting to wrap around quite yet all the way to the very top so we can complete that wrap around. Now that I've pulled forward, you'll notice this is at the very top and we can 
really get this into its final spot. And one of the big things I'm looking for too is when I'm placing this on both sides, I'm trying to make sure it's as even as possible. We don't want one side to be hanging super low like this because it's not gonna give us an even fit. So just make sure, just by putting your hand on the back side of the tire, it feels about the same distance away on each side. Once you've done that and this is looking like how you want it to, then you can repeat that process on the other side. And when both are on here, just kind of do one last pull forward or backwards to make sure everything's rotating correctly, nothing's looking out of whack. And if it's looking pretty good, then you can take it on the drive. But that was just a look at the snow socks on our 2024 Jeep Compass. Thanks for watching.